paint us a picture of what you saw from the beginning of when you encountered Morgan. Well, I was working the front door where everybody comes in at, and uh, I wasn't checking IDs, I was checking bags. Seeing him came in with two bodyguards. At first, didn't know it was him because I wouldn't think he'll come in broader daylight like that, though, because we got a VIP section for famous people. So I didn't really think it was him. I know he looked like him, but he went straight to the rooftop. Probably about 30 minutes later, I had a call. My walkie talkie, somebody threw a chair off the rooftop. I almost hit a metro car, so I went straight to the rooftop, and me and another security guard grabbed him. Took him down the elevator, escorted him out to get to the metro. We brought two witnesses down. They talked to Metro about it. What did you hear they said? They said he, he did it and all that. They didn't know who Morgan was. They just described him how the lawyers dressed up as. And uh, so then we went back and replayed the video camera footage and showed that he did it and all that. Did you watch that video? I started watching it, then I got called somewhere else. I was Metro seen it. Did the people you spoke to who worked at the bar or the witnesses describe, you know, what happened? Did he just kind of was pick it up? Was, was he angry? Was he angry? Was he joking? What was it? They're saying he tossed it pretty hard. He had a, he had to throw it pretty hard to get all the way in the street from Chief's rooftop. And the, the chairs are now light, and they're probably about 20 pounds. Made out of stainless steel, so oh, they say he had to throw it hard. Did they say he was in um, a verbal argument with somebody, that he was joking around? No, they just said he was being an idiot and just threw it. And there wasn't really no argument or nothing about it. Um, just him being drunk, I feel like he wasn't in the right state of mind. 